What's up YouTube? Welcome to the Aviators channel. So it's been like ugh, eight weeks since I've done a video and um, got a lot done in that time and uh, you know we've uh, moved the plane over to the big shop and we're working diligently on avionics and I'm going to show you kind of an update of where the uh, the Cessna is. It looks great. Uh, a lot better than I, I thought it would. You know, things are just kind of coming together on it. Um, but it's also been kind of a can of worms. It's been one of these things where, you know, I wanted to replace a radio. And next thing you know, I tore out the whole panel. So, um, and along the way when we had some time to stop, I, you know, fixed some engine oil leaks. And for anybody who's at all involved in uh, aviation aircraft engines they leak oil and you just have to come to terms with it and um, my personality just hasn't let me come to terms with it so uh, spent a lot of time doing that and I'll show you what we did spent a lot of time just doing the small things like the you know touching up the interior and and stuff like that and so um, let me show you what it looks like all right, so here we are. Looks a lot different than it did before, and I'll put a picture uh, right now of what it looked like before. But as you can recall, my only goal was going to be to uh, replace a radio. And, um, you know, they multiplied, so I got two of those, and, and I thought, well, while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and do the ADS-B, and so, Got the GTX 345 ADS-B in and out. I said, well, you know, as long as I'm doing that, I ought to fix the audio panel. So it's got a new audio panel. Uh, left the carb heat in. Um, then here's the sub panel. And, you know, you've got the addition of these two G5s right here. One, the top one is an attitude indicator. The bottom one is an HSI. And then you've got the GI-106A right there. Um, then you've got your uh, manifold pressure altimeter, airspeed, amps, uh, installed a new uh, G2 engine monitor. Um, I think all airplanes should have them as a, you know, just a matter of safety. Uh, vertical speed, and then the uh, eight-day clock. I don't know if you remember, but the yokes in this used to be white. Um, went ahead and uh, made them black, and I uh, made these push-to-talk tabs on each of the yokes so that that'll be where the push to talk is um, and then you know just some cleanup stuff like I made the flap handle beautiful again uh, I'm gonna re redo that knob right there but uh, what I did was I covered that in carbon fiber and then overlaid uh, epoxy on it and uh, made a boot uh, so that debris doesn't get down in there redid the uh, the trim um, and that's all painted black and then, you know, covered with epoxy. So, uh, you know, it's been a process. The, uh, good Lord, um, you know, I was originally just going to replace the, the plastic. And, and, you know, that turned into when I pulled the plastic off, there were a hundred holes in this panel. And it's all aluminum, so it's all structural. Uh, so I ended up, you know, coming up with the idea of... Uh, you know, just overlaying it with epoxy and covering up holes that I'm not using. There used to be one right there. there used to be one over there um, next to that carb temp. Now that's going to uh, hold a, a 796 and a gimbal mount. Um, it'll be able to swivel. Uh, and it's pretty cool. It's one of the anger all. The biggest change is the uh, the fuses. Um, these used to have these just these push pull. Uh, things all the way across and and like I said I put a picture in so you could see what it used to look like uh, and then you'd have the wires coming from up here down to you know here and so it made for a really mess messy install and so you know we just pulled out all of those wires and um, these are all-in-one uh, switches and circuit breakers uh, and and I like them and they turned out really well you'll notice the uh, the placards up here um, 2523 Yankee. Um, I went ahead and bought a, a, a pentagraph engraver. And let's walk around the shop here and I'll show you where that is. And so I laid up carbon fiber and just 
um, engraved all my own placards and they turned out pretty good what I did was uh, here's the engraver and and all the letters and uh, I'm sure I'll use it again you know not gonna get rid of it but uh, went ahead and laid up the carbon fiber engraved the letters and then uh, and then put paint in them wipe the paint off with acetone and then um, and then uh, overlaid them in epoxy resin again and they turned out pretty good I've got some extra ones right here these are actually gonna go right down here for the fuses down here but that's kind of how they turned out let me see if I can get that to focus um, and they turned out really good they're uh, you know kind of cool looking uh, also uh, with the engraver I made some some anodized aluminum placards and these are actually going to go right here on the yokes so those will look kind of cool but it's been it's been fun i've been uh, painting a lot um i have to fix the paint on the uh uh on the on the wells here on the on the door jams i'm actually going to tape this off sand it and do that today and internally i'm actually using bed liner as a paint so you can see back in there I've painted that what is bare aluminum now below that little shelf right there is the extended cargo and it goes back to that first bulkhead uh, but uh, you know just a lot of finish off stuff I've got to put the interior back in it's all ready it's just kind of loosely fitted in here uh, seats are out there in my other hanger but uh, you know it's been fun and uh, making some good progress uh, was able to use the original um, glove box and overlaid that in carbon and put a similar knob to what we've got up here uh, and it looks uh, looks how I wanted it to look so you know here at the shop we can we got a lot of capability so it's been uh, it's been fun so anyways that's kind of an update on where we are on the inside of the Cessna on the outside of the Cessna you know I think you all saw that uh, I put the big tire kit on um, but we uh, True to form, had to make it pretty. So let me show you that. Obviously. I went ahead and I'll insert a picture of uh, what it looked like when I started. But I uh, went ahead and powder coated the rims. And then on these retainer nuts, I bought a commercial bluing kit and blued those nuts. Uh, and so they're kind of a graphite looking affair. But uh, the nice thing is, is if you scratch them, you just wipe the solution on and uh, the scratches just go away. So it's pretty neat. Here's the uh, front wheel. And it turned out, you know, just like I want, like it. Kind of, uh, you know, Tonka truck looking. Uh, I did finish the paint, I uh, showed you guys that. I need to repaint the other leading edge. I didn't like the way it turned out. And then uh, I left these strips white and I think I'm gonna change that too. I don't know what to, but uh, it'll be something cool. Um, and then there's the engine. You see the uh, cables all running through for the uh, new engine monitor. Uh, replaced, back to the cockpit, replaced all of the mixture and prop and throttle. Uh, carb heat knobs uh, went with the McFarlane uh, as opposed to a vernier. This is a vernier and a push pull, so that's kind of cool. These are both just verniers. Uh, carb heat's just a push push pull, but uh, pretty cool. I like the way it turned out. Well, so now it kind of feels like we're in the final stretch here. Um, I've got to, you know, paint the interior and finish some of that stuff, and and I'm going to do that. Uh, like I said, probably today. Uh, I'll probably do another video on fixing engine oil leaks um, and explain how that's done because if you're like me, they keep you up at night and it sucks. So um, I'll probably do another video on that. It's kind of an involved process, but it's very effective. So anyways, that's, uh, that's an update on the Cessna. And, uh, you know, if you all like this sort of thing, like, subscribe, and comment, and hopefully I'll be doing more videos. Um, learn more about uh, about what we're going to finish on this plane. Uh, probably do another RV 
video because I've made some changes there too. So, um, like I said, like, subscribe, comment. Till next time.